I've gone all the way around, I've sealed and taped that entire edge. In some cases we put brown paper over that so that no dust can get in, but this seals it and holds it together, which is the important part. I then turn it over just again to check which way up it is. And it's going to hang this way on the wall. So on the opposite corners there, I place two small felt bump-ons. Now these are there to help it stay straight on the wall, but also, more importantly, promote air circulation. If you have a picture touching the wall, the picture itself will suck moisture off the wall and go mouldy quicker. So this allows air to circulate behind it and it gives no little ledge for insects to, to live in. And that also reminds me which way the bottom is. Then what I do is I measure down from the top and in this case this frame is nearly 30 centimetres long or 300 millimetres long. So I place the D-rings that are going to hang the picture at one third of that distance. So in this case it's easy for me to say I'm going to put it there at 10 centimetres or 100 millimetres. Do the same on the other side. I'm using a, an awl to make a small hole. You can drill it if you like with a, with a small battery drill, but I just make a little starter hole like that. Then what I'm going to use to hang it with are D-rings. D-rings are what picture framers use on the side of the frame there, and we put one on each side with a small screw, and then that's going to be drilled and screwed into the, to the frame. And so here with my battery powered drill, I screw that in. Repeat that on the other side. They do have a different side to them. There's a little loop side and a flat side. It's very good to put the flat side down. I'm sure it doesn't make any difference to the strength, but the aesthetics are better if you put it flat side down. You then screw that in. Now we're going to use some picture frame wire here. This is a plastic coated stainless steel wire and uh, we use it to hang most of our pictures. Now the trick with tying this wire is we do have a little knot and what that is we come up through the D-ring, fold it around, go around itself and back down through the D-ring again. That makes a little slip knot just to start with which keeps it tight on that ring and doesn't slide. You can then twist the wire off. If you just put it through and twist it off it will come up slip undone. A few little twists like that. Some people like to put lots of twists on there. We just put a few like that. And then using your wire cutter just cut the excess piece of wire off there so we've got a nice little tight piece there. I then pull more wire off and I allow oh, about 4 inches or 100 millimetres of wire more than the length of the frame there just so that it's easy to work with and I cut that off. Now we repeat the knot on this side. Now normally we don't pull that wire dead tight because we want some slack in that wire because when we hang it up on the wall, we'd like to use maybe two picture hooks so that we can get it to hang level here and here. And also, it puts less strain on the wire. So we repeat the knot out of the hole, around itself, back in through the D-ring again, give it a little pull, tighten it by pulling the piece that actually hangs, and then twist it off neatly, pulling each loop hard up against the D-ring as you go. So usually three or four twists like that is plenty. And then cut that off. So now we've got relatively loose wire on the back of the frame. We've got bump-ons in the corners. We can give it a pull to see if it hangs. And there we have our finished frame ready to go on the wall. Learn how to frame your pictures today at pictureframeclass.com 
and start the journey to improving your home and lifestyle.